Yo, what's going on guys? Andy from UGP. Today, I'm going to be showing you what I believe is an amazing XP glitch they can do on the game mode Rush on Blood of the Dead. Now, before you get into a game, guys, you want to make sure that you equip Wraith Hires, you also want to equip Time Slip, and you also want to equip DG5s. Be sure to also add on equipment as you'll need this. From here, head into a game, and what you want to do is complete the Model Industrials area. From here, you then want to move over to the West Grounds area. You need to complete that area. Then you need to go to the new industrial areas. You need to complete that area. Then from there, guys, you need to head over to the powerhouse and you need to complete this one. Now, once you've done this one, guys, all you need to do then is pick up time slip from the perk machine located by here. You then want to make sure that you have your Ragnarok DG5s ready to rock and roll. You want to make your way over to the same location and all you need to do is jump and slam onto the same barrier shown. Now this pile up glitch was found ages ago, but we were informed that you can actually use it in a method that will ensure that you get XP using it on rush. So instead of killing the zombies straight away guys, with this method, what you want to do is try and get your multiplayer up as maximum as possible. So to do that, what you need to do is pile up the zombies and then as soon as it starts ticking down, you'll see it in the bottom left hand corner, you need to chuck down a ray fire or pull out your Ragnarok DG5s. Now to start off with, you might need to use equipment to top up your ray fires to make sure that you'll be able to do this guys. But after you've done about 20 minutes of this, all you'll need to do is chuck a ray fire down which will top up your Ragnarok DG5s. Then once again, you need to wait for the multiplier to start blinking then pull out your DG5s, and this will give you enough time for your grenade to recharge. All you need to do is keep simply repeating the processes by actually waiting until your multiplier starts flashing, chuck a ray fire on the ground, and then once again, you need to then wait for the multiplier to start flashing, pull out your Ragnarok DG5s. By then, your ray fire should be actually recharged up, and just keep repeating the step. Now we did find after about doing this for about 40 minutes, that you won't have a zombie spawn in for about 30 seconds. You'll have a weird sound, and all of a sudden they won't spawn in. But by then, guys, you've actually stacked up enough multiply that you'll probably only lose a tiny bit. You can also use other elixirs to help with this. I believe Pop Shocks is a good one, Sword Flay. Whichever one, to be honest, is going to kill the zombies in front of you and actually rank up or top up your Ragnarok DG5 so you can use them. Now, when performing this glitch, guys, I actually went up two prestige in an hour so it's not super fast but to be honest it's probably the only best available ranking up xp method that there is there at the moment so as always guys shout out to the founders their names will be in the description if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash a like and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and check the notifications on if you want to see more videos like this but furthermore for myself andy and the rest of the unique game production team thank you